this is like a, a lot more than usual is is left unfinished and there's not necessarily reconciliation with a lot of the things that were going on with team flash and barry and iris's mm -hmm. separation and the mirror verse and so yeah there's there's a lot that's left unfinished the real iris is out there somewhere yeah! Down. Hey Grant, thank you so much for taking time out of your social distancing. Yeah, it's incredibly to, busy schedule. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> to chat about the flash. Um, we definitely have a first this year. We're ending the season on 619. So you guys are a couple episodes shy of what you were originally planning on doing. Um, how are you feeling about that and, and where this season is gonna leave off? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously it's a little disappointing. The writers were working really hard to work towards what they had planned for 622, and um, it's still a good cliffhanger. I mean, thankfully our episodes generally have built-in cliffhangers, especially as we get closer to, to the end of the year. Yeah. Um, so, I, I mean, I know some fans will be disappointed, but it still serves as a good cliffhanger. And I, I, I mean, everyone has a right to be a little disappointed right now, but the whole world is kind of being flipped on its head. So I think we can all accept that this is the reality. And sadly, we just didn't get to do as many episodes as we wanted to do. Totally. Do you feel like of the bits and pieces that you were able to film from the future episodes, you're going to be able to use those in the next season? Or do you think that the writers are going to have you guys just start over as a clean slate? No, I would have to imagine that. I mean, with the way things are going to be left off, we're going to still need a lot of these pieces to finish mm -hmm. what we were doing. So I think what would have served as episode six, 2021 and 22, maybe they won't do those storylines in their entirety at the beginning of season seven, but I, we're, I would imagine we're gonna finish, we're gonna do kind of condensed versions of those three episodes before we continue on to what they had planned for season seven. Yeah. And that's me speculating. I haven't necessarily had that conversation with the writers. Of course, everyone's still figuring this out as yeah. we're going along. Um, we have two episodes left this season, the penultimate and now 619, which is the finale. What can you tease for the fans out there? You mentioned that we're getting a cliffhanger. Some fans yeah. might not be super thrilled. Is that just because not everything was wrapped up with a bow? Yeah, no, there's definitely no bow this year. And I mean, generally, you know, we tend to finish the season with a little bit of, you know, we like that element to end the mm -hmm. year and keep everybody like waiting during the hiatus time. But this is like a, a lot more than usual is, is left unfinished. And there's not necessarily reconciliation with a lot of the things that were going on with Team Flash and Barry and Iris's mm -hmm. separation and the Mirrorverse. And so, yeah, there's, there's a lot that's left unfinished, but, um, as we saw in the last episode, Barry had started to catch on in 617 that uh, he finally was having this epiphany that he hadn't been living with his wife um, and something was going on and he shares his concerns with Cecile and the, the team starts to catch on to what's been happening and that maybe Iris is somewhere else. Um, and we'll see that, that start to develop a little bit more in 18 and um, things will definitely still come to a head in 619, but there's not as, it, it doesn't get resolved as much as we'd probably like it to. I was so excited to see that Barry knew that this was not his wife. He was yeah. putting the pieces together. I really think that speaks volumes for, for them as a couple. What was your reaction when you found out that he was gonna guess that that wasn't her? Yeah, no, I was glad that we finally got there. I mean, it took a while to get there, but I, I think, you know, like there was even a scene that Barry had with Mirror Iris where, you know, Iris is a strong-willed character and is, is just as strong and stronger than Barry in a lot of ways. And they can't, they had that, they came head to head with her saying like, I am growing and I am changing as a person. And Barry's like, you know, you're right. And I have to love you regardless. So like, that was a very Iris thing still. So I think that was what I was able to use to just believe that he wasn't figuring it out right away. Cause there was all these things going on with him losing his speed and mm -hmm. Thawne being back and, and trying to, obviously he loves his wife and believe that she, and understand that she is going to change and grow as a person and they need to, be able to love each other and be there for each other regardless. So um, I could believe that it took him so long to figure it out, but it was a relief when he finally, all these things started to click into place and he was kind of remembering some of these strange occurrences that happened like the pancakes and the bottle smashing on the head and all these different the things. Italian. The Italian. <laughs> Italian and things that really aren't that weird, but when you add them all up and um, it started, it, it was cool to see how they, I loved the scene that, um, 
Danny and I had at the West House when she comes into his like madman crime scene, and um, we had a lot of fun with that. So yeah, it was it was a relief when we finally realized, or when Barry finally realized that it wasn't Iris. So. Let's talk about Barry this season. He's been through every iteration of of learning different powers, losing his powers, the speed force, all of this stuff. Now we're really seeing what is the Flash without his speed. Um, what has that been like for you? And and could we hold out hope that the Flash will still be the Flash? Yeah, I would say it's safe to hold out hope that we're going to figure this thing out. And uh, yeah. whether it's an artificial speed force or storing the actual speed force, um, I've got to imagine that we're going to figure it out. It, it For me, it's been fun. I mean, it's just different. And um, at times I haven't even worn the suit for entire episodes, which like I, when you watch it, like we, me and LA watched this past episode together and we're like, that was weird. I wasn't in the suit once. Like as a viewer, you're like, man, but when I'm shooting it, I'm like, man, I'm not in the suit once. Like I'm so comfy. <laughs> like it's you're like, great. I don't have cowl hair. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, so there, that was a plus for sure while filming. Um, and it's just different. I mean, it's a lot more Barry. I mean, the it, it's fun at times and hard at times that just like to play Barry so discouraged constantly. And um, it, it's definitely been, he's been kind of at an all time low as far as his confidence for a lot of the second half of the season. And, um, so that's been weird to play um, and different, but it's, you know, always nice to change things up. Well, speaking of the suit, we've had six seasons. We've seen quite the evolution. Yeah. We've gone from maroon to the bright red. We've seen the ring come into play. What yeah. is still on your flash suit bucket list? What would you like to see? Gold boots. Ooh. Yeah, I want him with to have little, gold boots. With the little wings? No, well, we have, you know, the like lightning yeah. at the top of the red boots that are kind of like the wing uh, slash lightning at the top. But no, I want to see like, that's really the only thing we're missing for it to be pretty much the complete comic book look. Because the suit mm -hmm. that we have now essentially, but with like boots to match the belt. And then I feel like we're there. Do you think Barry can pull off gold boots? I know Barry can pull off gold boots. <laughs> Let me rephrase, can Grant pull off yeah. gold boots? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, we have six seasons under your cowl at this point. <laughs> How much longer do you see yourself playing The Flash? Listen, I mean, I, it's, I, I may never have a job this cool again that people, that this many people actually tune in to watch. Um, so I'm not going to take it for granted. Um, mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't know. Um, I could, I was talking to Michael Rosenbaum the other day and it's like to go as many seasons as they did with Smallville, like nobody gets to do that. That's always been something that I thought would be really cool to accomplish. Um, it's not just my decision, obviously. Um, it has a lot to do with the viewers and the network and um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But I, I, can, we, I can definitely see myself doing more than just the one that I have left on this current contract, you know? It's seven is it for most of the cast, actually. But um, I, I think it'd be great if we could continue after that. Definitely. Do you still have anything that's on your on your Flash dream list? Anything that you like to accomplish? A fun episode? More musicals? Um, yeah. I, you know, I don't, I don't think I ever, we ever need to do a full-blown musical again, but like little things like the karaoke scene that we did, that was that season one or two? Was that was season one. One, yeah, like yeah. stuff like that. It'd be fun to like, you know, sing again within our world that where it's not like a dream world of like musicals, but like I would definitely be open to singing again on the show if it was like in that capacity. I um, want to see Drunk Barry again because you yelling, I'm the Flash! Uh, yeah. I'm the Flash! <laughs> is still my favorite scene of all that time. Was, that was fun. I think I had even more fun with uh, the episode Danielle Panabaker directed where with the um, where Barry pretended to be drunk on the stage at the auction to like be the distraction. I had like the champagne bottle and we did the like Mortal Kombat thing. Yeah, I mean, I you know, but the fun stuff would definitely be at the top of my wish list as far as, you know, just seeing the team not be Team Flash, like kind of do other fun things. Um, and I know Eric Wallace has a lot of things left on his wish list for mm -hmm. Flash things. Um, so I, I would have to leave it to him for, 
you know, I'm game for whatever Eric wants to do. Mm -hmm. um, have you been able to connect at all with any of your Flash family while you've been social distancing? Yeah, I mean, I pretty much every, at least every few days, once a week, check in with, you know, everybody. We're all kind of checking on each other. Later today, actually, me and um, Carlos and Jesse and Andy Mantis, Pied Piper, are doing a, yeah. a game night thing benefiting the Actors Fund. Um, uh, so that'll be fun. Um, we get to all be on Zoom together and play some games. Um, but yeah, we're all, you know, checking in on each other. Everyone's pretty much in the same boat, just like mm -hmm. at home and, you know, how you doing? What are you doing? Like, I'm good, I'm bored, not doing anything. Like, all right, cool, Still check chilling. in with you next week. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching The Flash. We got two yeah. more episodes. <laughs> yeah, there's not much going on right now, you know? It's waiting for I my like dog's I like that you've been doing your workout videos. Ellen's yeah, really no. keeping you in shape. She's I cracking know. the whip. Some, some days I'm like today, I was very reluctant. It was a cardio, like jumping day. And I was like, I think I'm gonna be stuck in traffic today. Um, <laughs> But there aren't really excuses for missing anything right now. So yeah, I've been working out a lot. Um, I've been playing guitar, trying to like learn how to play guitar and, um, you know, just do a couple things that aren't just playing PlayStation all day long, which I could do if I let myself, so. Have you been binging anything? Um, you know, we've been repeating things that we know we love. Like we already did all of The Office really early yes. on. Um, we're now on season three of New Girl. We're redoing New Girl, which like I knew I loved, but forgot how like laugh out loud funny that show is. Yeah. Um, and we're doing like Tiny House Nation. Do you know this show? Is it about the tiny homes? Tiny, they build tiny I love houses. The tiny homes. Yeah, like. And it's really, it's made me like, we early on like kind of like did a spring cleaning and pared down on a lot of our stuff and pared down is a phrase I got from Tiny House Nation. And now we're like even more inspired to like, we don't need everything we have. Like we need to pare down more and get rid of our clothes and people need this stuff and we don't, so. Wait, we're going Grant, most people get that vibe from watching the Marie Kondo show, but you're yeah. like, tiny home. <laughs> yeah. I haven't actually watched that yet. So I'm sure if I watched it, I'd be all about like, organizing oh. my closet and it'll make you completely refold everything in your closet <laughs> <laughs>